Hey everybody, it's Charlie from DM Sound, and today we've got the sound system demo on the 2023 Bentley Continental GT Convertible and its 16 speaker Bang & Olufsen audio system. This is going to be an in-depth review, we're going to take a look at how the infotainment system works, take a look at audio inputs, adjustments and controls, and speaker locations, then we're going to head out on the road and listen to these sample tracks while we're rolling, and I'll give you my thoughts at the end. Now if you don't care about any of that stuff at the beginning and you just want to hear the music, click ahead in the video, we've got chapters to get you right to the tunes. And I recommend listening with headphones so you can hear exactly what I hear in the driver's seat. But before we get started, let's hop out and take a look at it. This is such a gorgeous example of what I think is one of the most quintessential luxury coupes there is out on the market, the Bentley Continental GT. Just look at those sparkling headlights, this dragon red 2 paint. This thing really does look the part. And even though it is just the Azure V8 model, no longer the W12 speed or anything like that, this thing hustles really, really well. So if you do want to see more on the car, check the link below. We've got a lot of videos coming, but back to the sound system. Now we always do these tests with lossless, uncompressed wave files on a USB stick plugged directly into the system, and high quality Roland binaural microphones in both of my ears, giving you the most realistic audio system demo on YouTube. We also do the test with the sound settings set to their factory defaults. So let's take a look at those now. Got a nice touchscreen infotainment system here. Technically, you can get around it a little bit with this rotary knob in the middle, but you're gonna find yourself touching it most of the time. Over here on the left, we've got the sound screen, but it does look like uh, Chris is ready to roll, so I'm going to pick this up here uh, in just a moment. Okay, anyway, coming down here into the sound settings. Rather than a traditional equalizer with treble, mid-range, bass, etc., or a five or a nine-band equalizer, this Bayosonic here in the Bang & Olufsen gives you four options. Bright, energetic, relaxed, and warm. And then allows you to choose in kind of this, um, by moving this around those four sections. So we'll go through those four options now. Here's bright. So essentially bright is your treble and warm is your bass and then relaxed would be uh, low treble, higher bass and energetic would be higher, right? Or no, this would be low and low, this would be high and high, low, high, high, low. Yeah, so <laughs> it's just, a, it's an exercise in kind of changing how you tune a sound system and I don't think it's that bad of an idea. I think for some people, non-audio enthusiasts, they might appreciate that. Below that you have adjustment for sound focus you can either do all the seats focus on the rear or focus the sound on the front let's go through those and that's actually all you have here in this car for audio adjustments so no sort of um pitch or uh front rear left right fader and balance and like i said no traditional equalizer that is what you got for audio controls here in the Continental, you have a volume knob right here. It's very easy to adjust. Some good clickage. You also have a volume roller on the right side of the wheel. For track selection, you have this knob right here. You can scroll back and forth, right? Yep, just wanted to confirm. And then you have track selection right where you like to have it on the right side of the wheel by the volume adjustment. For audio inputs here in the Continental, you have your standard AM, FM, Sirius XM satellite radio. Let's double check what sort of uh, support for HD radio we have. I'm not seeing HD popping up, but I'd be blown away if we didn't have HD radio support on here, at least for FM. So I'm just going to go with a yes on that one. And then you've got USB-A ports in the glove box, Bluetooth streaming, an auxiliary input. You actually have a 3.5 millimeter aux input, something we don't see too common anymore these days. And a jukebox, so you can actually load tracks onto the system here and have them saved for high fidelity. So, um, And you have support for Apple CarPlay wired, but no Android Auto. So again, what does that mean you're missing? Well, no Android Auto, at least not for 2023 model year here. And no USB-C ports, not too big of a deal there. 
Speaker locations. As I said, this is a 16 speaker system. Starting in the bottom left, you've got door woofer there, one, mid range two, tweeter up front three, mid ranger up front in the center, four, five, six, seven on the other side. In the back of the door right here, you have eight woofer, nine woofer on that door. And then if we look back kind of behind here, you've got uh, 10 mid ranger, 11 tweeter, 12, 13, 14, 15 mid rangers, and then a subwoofer right back there making 16. All right, let's leave this driveway here and go test some of these tracks out on the road.
has been really weird to me because there are aspects of it that sound so great and so crisp and precise. And then listening to these sample tracks, which I've heard time and time and time again, thousands of times, I'm noticing inconsistencies and I'm noticing elements of the music that doesn't sound like it should from the recording. So have I enjoyed listening to it? Absolutely. But there is a, a weirdness to it. And part of that could very well be this is the convertible. I mean, this is such an unideal place to be playing and tuning music. So, yeah, maybe is there a, a degree that, that maybe we just need to give it a little bit of forgiveness because of what it is? Yes, but you still all should know that it does sound very good and I very much enjoyed listening to my music. But even listening to a track like this, I'm hearing elements in the mid to lows that are not proper. For this next track though, speaking of lows, I'll turn the bass all the way up. We'll see what we get out of this woofer. I guess this would be bass all the way up, right? Again, not a super satisfying rumble, but it's there. thoughts on the 16 speaker Bang & Olufsen here in the Continental GT convertible. It's, like I said, it's a satisfying system. It sounds good, but there are those inconsistencies. And like you just heard a moment ago, all of a sudden the, the music came in real powerfully and then it dropped out. Uh, I saw, and it's weird, it should have a 1500 watt amplifier in here. There should be plenty of power. So I'm just not exactly sure what's going on with the system, some sort of balance protection. The good news is, is it does mean you can listen to music at moderate to uh, soft levels, and it's really crisp and really strong and well balanced. But again, you're just missing those lows and you're missing the, the high volume listening abilities. So it's coming in at an A, it's a strong A. Of course, it'd be great to test the name system in here. And uh, I mean, I'm sure the bass is just decent, probably not quite worth worth a $300,000 price tag, but yeah, thank you all so much for watching. If you do want to see more on the car, check the link below, and we'll see you on the next one. I'm Charlie from DM Sound, and as always, drive on.